Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. This is a continuation of my test server video as a part of episode 42, Legion of Doom. Uh, the release date is now set at Thursday, December the 9th. So, we can look forward to that next week. And, one of the most important things is going to be the new OP item, which is going to be the OP Neck. So, I'm going to take you through how to get it, and the exact leveling process and all the materials that will be required. So, when you first log into the game on the 9th, if you go to your journal, you're going to have a mission called Legion of Doom Part 1. Uh, that after you listen to the update from Martian Manhunter, you're going to have to go to the new DLC in New Washington, D.C., which you can either get to if you're in the House of Legends, Tier 6, Doom Washington, D.C., or you can simply go through your warp menu, and then you'll get it there. Once you get in, at the top of the steps is going to be Martian Manhunter. Right now, the world is on the cusp of falling into doom. We must defend and uphold justice. As this now is going to ask for a completed mission from yeah, Lois Lane, John Stewart, or Phantom Stranger. Which are going to be the daily missions here. Ultraviolet lanterns are spreading chaos by tapping into people's subconscious fears. Go not to fight. So if you need to know exactly what these look like, you can refer to my open Perpetua world video. And her pet Luther gifted the Legion of Doom with new powers. But so I know let's join back when I show you the next step. Fight. Okay, so once you've completed one of the daily missions, the quintessence thanks you for your you're gonna get an update once again to Legion of Doom Part One. Which is Return of Martian Manhunter. Was preparing us for. We must defend Earth or And it's going to progress from there. So it's going to ask for the duo, then it's going to ask for the alert, then it's going to ask for the raid. So every single at DLC episode, we get one of these introductory missions, but this is how you earn the OP neck. It is very important that you do it in order. So if you skip that and don't do the daily, it's, it's not going to progress the mission, then you have to go back and do it again. So just make sure as soon as the DLC opens, get this mission, talk to Martian Manhunter, do a quick daily, and then you can do your duo, then you can do your alert, then you can do your raid. And then we'll show you the next step once you've completed the duo, the alert, and the raid, and the update to Martian Manhunter. He'll give you a new mission. Once you've completed the Legion of Doom uh, introductory mission, you will unlock a new mission called Perpetual Prize. It's time. After speaking to Lex Luthor there, it's going to take you to the statue, the hologram statue in the middle of the map, where you'll be able to interact with the statue. And you'll see one cosmic ingot, and that will open up access to the LexCorp bot vendor. So the LexCorp drone, that'll still be there, but you won't be able to interact with it if you don't have this mission completed. But uh, now once you do, you'll be able to access that vendor. On that vendor will be the OP neck for 40 marks. The catalyst you need to level up for 35. Ingots are 10 marks, uh, which uh, 10 limit per week. And then the figments are 50 marks with one per week. So let's take you to the leveling process. Okay, so now you've seen the introductory mission that requires you to get the LexCorp drone. Once it's unlocked and you saw the uh, overall mark costs. Now, taking a look at a closer look at the leveling system. Now, once you unlock the feat for the OP neck on your tune, you will also have a mark reduction. So it'll be much easier to get your second OP neck because I know that mod slot is annoying. So, taking a look here, we're also going to see a neat little bug that's on test server. So we've got the OP neck. Uh, you're going to ignore this, that we can fortify everything into uh, the OP neck. That's not going to be the case. Uh, where are the correct ones? Because uh, now we can apparently fortify our entire inventory. I thought I saw them. There it is. So the cosmic ingots. So I did fortify them all here, but you'll see at rank 10, you need 13,500. The ingots cannot crit, so they're going to be a thousand each. So you're going to need 14 uh, to get the level 10 experience. That's what that means. And you're going to need five of the figments and then one of the gallstone folds. Probably, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. So for rank 20, we're going to need 39,000 XP. We're going to need 10 of the figments, two of the folds. For rank 30, we're going to need 84,500. Don't ask me why they're not whole numbers, even though the ingots are 1,000. <laughs> but that's the case. That means technically you need 85. We need 15 of the figments. 
and three of the folds. So for rank 40, the final rank, you need 167,500. So technically 168 cosmic ingots total. You need 20 of the figments and 14 of the folds. Or sorry, four of the folds, sorry. And there you have the OP neck. And it does have a neck slot now. So if you're wondering where to get these items, the Cosmic Ingots are going to drop off pretty much anything. Now I will mention that there is an Augment rank. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see because the stupid scrolling here. Let's take it so it doesn't drop my supply drop. This is one of my pet peeves for a long time, so I have to hit the center of button on my mouse to scroll, but it auto-scrolls. Uh, so you can see there... At the very top, equipping two augments with cosmic revelation also increases chance to receive figments of imagination. Uh, so the other one above that is cosmic ingots. So the advantage is that the faster you level your augments to that rank, just a difficult to see, sorry, but the, the faster you level it to that rank, the more cosmic ingots and the more figment of imaginations you're going to get from, you know, bounty boxes, raids, alerts. Uh, daily alert boxes, although that's a lot rare. So that's how you earn those. And then obviously the folds. You saw the uh, that's the reduced mark price, and you saw the full mark price of thirty-five on the uh, previous section of the video. So there's your OP neck. Very straightforward. There's the stats on it. I guess I can show you the stats compared to what the regular and what the regular next going to be. So if you want to base it off the regular neck, uh, definitely skipped it right here. So you can have an extra 2383 health, 4400 power, or sorry, health, 1600 power, 753 prec, 1472 might, 1000 resto, 685 it, and 2136 dom. So definitely beneficial neck to get. And because with the mark reduction, it's quite easy to get two of them. So at least you can have one for your DPS roll and off roll rather than having to get a whole bunch of uh, neck capsule boxes to carry around and switch your neck mods each time. So any other questions about the OP neck or the leveling process, put that in the comment section below. And happy farming. Take care, guys.